Well, hi, air signs. Hi. Hey, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's up with you guys? What's up? What's up? Yes, wearing pink today. I know. And then later on, I'll take it off and put on my black sweatshirt. <laughs> I don't know. I like it, and then I'm cold. So, anyway. All right, so let's see what's going on for you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's going on? What is going on? Thank you to everybody who did the navigating spiritual, your spiritual awakening class. That was really amazing and fun. Just, just the great questions and everything. So thank you to you guys who did that. Uh, we are going to be doing a um, uh, back by popular demand, the trifecta of um, understanding your birth chart, your north node, right? The work you're here to do and an advanced north node class that we're adding, which is going to help you really understand the intricacies of your own north node placement. So if you want to join in with that, find out the work you're here to do on this planet, there's a link below. Okay. So let's see what's going on. This is January 11th. Messages that want to come through for you January 11th. We did a live Cancer uh, full moon. So that's the energy we're in today. We did that live yesterday. If you want to check that out, it's really interesting to me. Um, all right. One more, please. One more, please. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Messages coming through. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And of course... I could be talking to a cross watcher. Aww. The vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted. You've done some stuff. Oh, hang on one second. Let me see this. Eagle spirit. The spirit has your back. Yes. Of course you know that, right? Spirit has your back. So look at that. We've gotten birds. Is that you yesterday? We got the owl and the... Anyway, um, the vulture for, so the vulture's here and the, and the eagle. Spirit has your back. So I like the idea of vulture that nothing is wasted, that what you have done, the work you have put in, you know, when we're in this cancer full moon eclipse energy, you're, it's a new set point, okay? So everything you've done up until now, the work you've put in, whether it's your spiritual development or it's your financial development or your emotional, your relationship development, all of this stuff, now there's a new set point. So you're up, you're sort of leveling up here, all right? I might want to read that Eagle Spirit. I've never seen that card before. It's really cool. Um, so let's see here. I want to take a look at this. This is the Wisdom of the Oracle. We're going to pull a couple of these, and then we'll lay the reading. Okay, doke. One more, please. Yeah. All right. So let's see here. All right. Serendipity. Good luck. That's a Sagittarian card. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. Tick tock. Boy, good stuff coming in. Yeah, good stuff coming in. I got this card yesterday too. You see how the house is up like on a beanstalk, like up above special you know, sort of, um, some, I'm hearing like some kind of special placement or some kind of special award or promotion or leveling up. Okay. Some kind of leveling up. I am going to read the, the Eagle one, the 23, the Eagle has landed. Um, let's see here. Dove Eagle spirit spirit has your back. Think of eagles flying high above the other birds, soaring on the wind. Eagle spirit has appeared to ask whether you're willing to soar to new heights, even if that means solitude for a short while. Truly, uh, and that's, look at this. You're soaring to new heights. The home, you see, luck is taking you. Some kind of uh, luck coming in, good news coming in, advancement. Truly, all of the wisdom of the world is available to you. When storms flash across the sky, it is the eagle spirit that raises you above it all, helping you conquer fear and overcome adversity, reminding you that spirit has your back and wants you to experience life at its fullest. Boldly build your nest in a lofty space and know that now you can fly effortlessly, proudly embodying the eagle spirit 
in all her glory and grace, claiming what is truly yours in divine timing. Ah, in divine timing, right? So when you get, when we get the, um, the wheel card, right? A lot of times that means divine timing, tick tock. So it's coming. Something is coming for you that is going to be a next level kind of experience. That's awesome. So nothing is wasted. So even if a relationship didn't work out or it was all purposeful, and I know it's always that way. I think I feel like you might need to be reminded of that, that everything that you've done up until now, even if it seems like, oh, well, that just didn't work, it's all purposeful. It's all meaningful. And it's all going to come together here. It's all going to make sense to you. Yeah, new beginning. Ace of Wands. All of my stuff, you know, I do a reading for myself every day. All of my stuff was new beginning today, too. Three of Wands, Seven of Swords, Tower. Wow. Yeah, something is done. Sad about that. Single again. King of Wands, Death, Queen of Cups. Boy, this is a pretty simple reading. Simple but not easy. Okay? So I feel like you were having a good old time with somebody. It could have been a third party scenario. These two cards together, unmistakable third party scenario. Now, as you know, third party can sometimes, it doesn't have to be cheating, but there is some kind of deception related to this experience. Some kind of deception was going on, some kind of secrecy, sometimes some kind of getting away with it. So that's going to come home to roost, the bird analogy again, tower and ten of swords. Something is really done for you, but don't forget, ta-da, okay, ace of wands, something new is beginning. Again, nothing is wasted. So you may, um, this is something that could have happened five or six months ago, or something that started five or six months ago, something like that. Because the tower means now. Whoops, this is backwards. The tower means now. So the thing that's getting blown up is the tower. Is, is the tower. <laughs> The thing that's getting blown up is the thing that was built on a rocky foundation. That's why the tower blows things up because it's not stable. It's not solid. So something that started off on a wrong foot, I want to say, all right, is blowing up. So you may have some regrets about this, but you are coming into this nine of pentacles, single space. Um, and look what's coming. Big transformative energy, big love energy, big. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or an Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, I feel like you see how you're looking. You're looking right at the transformation. Um, I feel like the King of Wands is the person coming in. This person um, is going to be very transformative in your life. Give me more about the King of Wands here. Everything is about transformation here. Yep, putting down that uh, Magician, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Four of Wands. Yes, coming in for a real relationship. This is real. This other thing wasn't real. Whatever this was, it was a dalliance. It was a, it was built on a rocky foundation, like I said. So the tower blows that up. This new thing is real. Okay? So the six of cups can be somebody, like you know, from the past, okay? Coming in for a real connection, something that's going to turn into um, stability, because fours are stable. Okay? Sixes and fours here. So this person has been through something really rough as well. Ten of Wands, Nine of Swords. They've been working too hard. Um, they are a magician. They are somebody who can manifest a lot in their life. They've been uh, working too hard. This can also be you 
has worked too hard, um, you are gaining the benefit, right? Nothing's wasted. You are gaining the benefit of your hard work, um, but it wasn't yielding any relationships. It might have been yielding pentacles, but not a life partner, okay? So now, um, I feel like the thing that changes the game here, there's something lucky coming in. Something lucky. It's like a chance meeting. That Six of Pentacles of being balanced, it's like you let go of this other thing here. You let go of the thing that was built on the Rocky Foundation. And death comes through. So this is very eighth house transformational. This is going to be a transformational connection. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords, Ace of Cups, Six of Wands, another six. So this person, this person and you, okay, um, maybe money was of real importance or something like that, walking away from a closed mindset. Um, I see the eight, nine, ten of swords. It's just an old way of doing things that's no longer interesting. Uh, winning. Winner, winner, chicken dinner right there, right there, right there. Okay, this is going to be a transformative connection. So I am going to look at um, Aries, Leo, Sag, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in the extended. I feel like this is going to be something very magical, okay, very special. It's a spiritual, it's definitely a spiritual connection, right, because you're walking on this path toward spirit, towards the guide. All right, this person could be walking towards you. You could be a guide for them. Whatever it is, the mindset, they, they may have a tower experience too, okay? Because their mindset is closed. They're, too, they're working too hard, okay? And this new thing is going to expand and open you both up. Tick-tock. So this is happening very soon, okay? So I'm going to continue on if you want to... Um, hear more about this, the link is below. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. Link is below for you, January 11th air sign. Okay, I'll see you over there.